I imagine one of the more confusing aspects of this Old Testament class is the new testing system. Last year, Dr. Halverson and I came up with a testing system that we felt moved away from simply testing your ability to collect points or average grades together and moved more toward actually testing the skills that you have. Now, for us, we wanted to model this testing system on a video game, and when we say video game, we had two aspects of the video game we really liked. The ability to level up and the ability to save your progress. Now, when we say level up, we connected that to Bloom's Taxonomy of Learning. Now, you may have seen this before. If you're an education major, I promise you, you'll see it quite a bit. But the very bottom of Bloom's Taxonomy is this notion of remembering. This is the very basic aspect of, of knowledge. If I give you the fact and ask you for the fact back. Uh, I've always tried to connect this to Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So at the very bottom level of learning, I have what, where did the bears live? Or how many bears were there in Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Basically just testing how well you've been able to collect the facts. It's a basic level of learning. From there, I move to tell me the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Well, now I'm asking you to do a little more thinking about it, understand a little more of the story, be able to report that back. Um, from there, we move to why does Goldilocks go into the house? That's asking you to construct a theory based on your reading of the story and put that together. So you have to both know the facts and know the story before you can get to that. Um, how would you react differently than Goldilocks? I mean, that's another level of learning. That asks you to know a little bit about yourself and make some value judgments uh, about Goldilocks. Is Goldilocks a good person? Well, I mean, I don't know. Home invasion and destruction of private property, not normally uh, things that we esteem, but hey, you may be different than me. Uh, at the very top of the pyramid, we have creating. If I ever asked you to make, tell me the story Goldilocks and the Three Fish. Well, that's going to assume that you've made all of these judgments and have all the knowledge below this about the story before you can effectively write Goldilocks and the Three Fish. Now, in the course of this semester for us, we've got basically three levels, a C level, a B level, and an A level. Um, C level skills, I'm gonna put at the remembering level. B level skills, I will say is an understanding level. And A level skills is going to be at the applying level. So this is going to, for me, be down here for, for a 100 level class. I think that's probably an appropriate way to demarcate that. So how does this work? How do you do the different levels? Well, we're going to give you daily quizzes. So every day there's going to be an accountability quiz at the beginning of class, making sure you've watched the assigned videos and done any of the assigned readings. These are gonna be multiple choice. They'll be done electronically. And that way everybody takes these, okay? If by the first exam, your quiz average is at 80%, that qualifies you for the B level test. If your quiz average is below 70%, that qualifies you for the C-level test. We have four tests in the course of the semester. If you pass your first two B-level tests, if, in other words, if you, they're going to be essays, if you write those two essays at a B-level, that qualifies you by the third exam for the A-level test. If you pass two A-levels, in other words, the third test and the final, you get an A in the class. If you pass two B-levels, you get a B in the class. So that's a way to guarantee a grade is to, so, so if you wanna get an A in the class and guarantee it, you wanna be on the B-level test by the very first exam. Uh, at any point in the semester, however, you can get on the B-level by either scoring 80% on a C-test or getting an 80% quiz average. Both of those will qualify you for the B-test in the upcoming exam. Now I have a chart listed out in the syllabus that gives you all of the possibilities on this, every possible path that you can take and what grade is still possible for you as you go. Basically at the end of the day, as I say, if you wanna guarantee a grade, you pass two level A tests. So if you pass two A tests, you get an A. You pass two B tests, you get a B. If you only pass one A test, let's say that you were on the A test only for the final, but you pass that A test. That means you either get an A minus or a B plus in the course. You leave that up to me. I'll make that judgment based on quiz average, on attendance, on class participation and some of the active learning exercises that we're doing. Uh, did you take the learning seriously? If so, probably gonna bump you up to the A minus. Uh, if not, probably gonna get the B plus. If you wanna guarantee the grade, you gotta pass two of them. Uh, on the final exam, if you're on the C test, if you score, se score 70 to 100, you're going to get a C in the class. Because again, if you want an A or a B, you gotta be on the A test or the B test. A couple of caveats that you might want to be aware of. Uh, you have to maintain, a, after you get on either the B or the A test, you have to maintain a 70% quiz average to take the B or the A final. In other words, after you qualify for the B or the A test, you can't just start phoning it in. You actually have to stay up on your knowledge, content knowledge because obviously if you haven't mastered content, you're not going to have anything to say uh, on those essays and I don't want to read those. Uh, also, 
uh, if you have a quiz average and maintain a 60% quiz average, you've locked in a D for the class. If you want to see, you have to pass the C test. But if you get a 60% quiz average, I wanted to honor the work that you do on a daily basis on those, on those quizzes and guarantee a D in the class so long as you maintain that, that D quiz average. Okay? That's a survey of the exam, of the exam schedules. Hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, obviously you can ask me. We're going to talk about this in class, but I just wanted to give you a video that uh, I thought might help explain it in a little more detail.